bright duty every student matters let us see a few exam point of views important questions and reasonings and logical points that may be asked in your exams there are certain reasoning questions you will be asked first is you must have experienced that if you are traveling by car or by bus right it was a stationary bus you just went and sat onto it or if you have not got the seat you are standing right the moment the bus starts what do we feel we feel a jerk backwards now why why does it happen it is explained on the basis of first law of motion try to relate please initially i was in a bus the bus was in a stationary position i was also in a stationary position got it now the moment the bus started fine i was in a state of rest bus also was in a state of rest but the moment bus started because of the ignition because of the engine and the fuel in that the force from that fuel it drove the bus it started the bus but because of inertia i will tend to remain in that state of rest only because there is no fuel inside me which is just making me to move along with the bus i was sitting in the particular seat or standing and the moment the bus starts because of inertia my body will tend to remain in the state of rest and that is why i'll feel a jerk backwards because the bus is moving forward got it fine second thing now when a bus is moving or in a car if we are sitting right any vehicle now we are sitting in a moving vehicle so basically we are also right now along with this bus we are also in a state of motion right and where we are moving in the forward direction now suddenly if the driver applies brakes now what do we experience we experience that we tend to fall forward now why does this happen this is also based on inertia the law of inertia right let us see let me explain to you how exactly it happens it is just opposite to that jerk backward when the bus started try to relate please me and the bus or the vehicle both of us they were in a state of motion we were going in the forward direction right suddenly the driver applied brakes because of the brakes applied the opposing force applied the bus is going to stop or slow down but my body what about my body it was in a state of motion and because of my inertia i will tend to remain in that state of motion because of which i tend to get a jerk in the forward direction and i have to apply force in order to maintain my posture otherwise i'll hit it right got it so this is the second logical question that we get based on this particular topic so whenever a bus starts we tend to move backward and whenever a moving body or moving bus stops we tend to move forward we get a jerk in the forward direction so you are able to relate why does it happen now the third observation you must have seen that in a particular bus we are just sitting in a particular seat right this bus is going along a straight road fine you must have experienced that if now the bus takes a right turn then we tend to move left right or if it takes a left turn we tend to move right we are always opposite to the direction of the motion of the bus why does it happen of course because of newton's first law of motion or because of inertia right 
let us explain once again the reason behind it try to relate please i am in a bus the bus is moving in a straight direction my body is also moving along with this bus in a straight direction right now when the bus turns right whenever the bus turns right my body because of inertia will tend to remain in the same state and that state was basically moving in the straight line right so when the bus turns right i am my body because of inertia is trying to go straight so as per the direction in relative to the direction of the bus i am actually going on the left hand side similarly the bus and my body they were traveling along a straight path straight line whenever the bus goes left now my body tends to remain straight because of inertia once again and therefore i will be moving right as per the or in relation with the direction of the bus right so we move sideways whenever bus takes a turn and that sideways is also opposite to the direction of the motion of the bus got it fine now we have seen lot many times what that in our houses if we want to clean a mat right a door mat or something what we tend to do is we just try to beat it with a stick or something now what is the purpose of it how does beating with the dust beating with beating with the stick of the that particular door mat how does the dust comes down once again the logic is the reason is newton's first law of motion that is the law of inertia please try to relate now initially the door mat fine that and the dust on it they were both in a state of rest now when we started beating it with a stick what we are doing is we are applying force on the mat because of which the mat comes in motion but what about the dirt no force is applied on it because of inertia the dirt tends to remain in that particular state only because of which we see that it comes it falls down got it so removing dirt from a door mat it is also based on newton's law of motion now one another important thing it is dangerous to jump out of a moving bus it is dangerous to jump out of a moving bus whenever the bus stops only then we should step out from it otherwise if we try to be in a hurry and we step down from a moving bus it may be very dangerous why because it may lead to accidents why once again first law of motion will explain you the reason behind it let us see how initially bus and my body both were moving in the straight road in the straight direction we were in motion right now if i tend to jump out of a moving bus because of inertia my body will try to remain in that particular state of motion only so definitely my body will just fall forward and that will be very harmful if i'll be just jumping out of a bus on a road because it may cause severe injuries so students you all basically need to relate and specially apply this thing in your daily life that you should not try to be in a hurry or you should not jump out of a moving bus because it can lead to injuries fatal accidents got it so there are so many other day to day observations also we'll study them one by one fine the next example for newton's first law of motion is the case of carom coins now we'll do an activity while playing the carom 
what we will do is the coins will place the coins one over each other fine just like for example this is a carom right in the center i'll place the coins one over each other right now if with a striker i just hit smoothly and fastly then what happens is the bottom most coin will move and the rest of the coins they will fall down now why does it happen because there was a stack or a pile of coins over each other fine they were all in a state of rest now when i applied some force in the form of the striker that force is just being struck on the bottom most coin because of which that particular coin came into motion but the rest of the coins due to their property of inertia they were in the state of rest and they will continue to remain in the state of rest because of which they will fall down got it fine let us take another activity to understand the same concept that is the case of a playing card and a coin over a tumbler now let us see a video demonstration to illustrate what exactly we are trying to see the laws of inertia that we already know that a body in the state of rest will remain in the state of rest fine unless until some external force is applied so for this we require some material a glass tumbler a thick cardboard and a 1 rupee coin so now in order to explain this we'll see how we are going to proceed so the procedure is we will place the thick cardboard on a glass tumbler and over it we will place that 1 rupee coin now flick the cardboard with your fingers what did you observe you notice that the cardboard moves away but the coin falls in this particular tumbler now why it happened it is very easy to understand why because initially the cardboard and the coin both were in the state of rest but when the cardboard is suddenly set into motion due to the flick of fingers the coin due to the inertia it remained in that state and it fell down so the coin is left behind and hence drops into the glass tumbler right so this is basically an activity through which we can relate the law of inertia fine now we take another activity in which we will place a water filled tumbler on a tray we will hold the tray and we will turn around as fast as we can what we will observe we will observe that the water spills why same concept because of inertia got it now there is a reasoning question that comes to us that whenever we have seen a cup plate we saw that there is some depth there is there is a groove fine that is being provided in a saucer for placing the tea cup why because it prevents the cup from topping toppling over in the case of sudden jerks right so these are a few things that we can relate on the basis of the first law of motion or we can say the laws of inertia got it